it's me Brianna and this is going to be a review on Smashbox new lipsticks called Ombre Lips. Now with me I have four different swatches and I'm going to swatch them for you. So the first one I'm going to use is called Sunset Ombre and the Sunset Ombre it has orange, pink and red. So let's go ahead and let's swatch this. Sunset right here and it is definitely ombre um the, what, the hardest thing is honestly just applying it and making sure that it like applies to the lips so let's do a close-up the next one is nude ombre and this one is obviously um you can see that they're nude And this is the new one. And this one definitely is not, not um, flattering for my skin tone. If I used a brown lip liner, I could make it work. This is definitely a nude for a lighter skin tone. This is not for me. But I'll show you guys a swatch anyway. The next one is called Berry Ombre. And this one is um, purple and pinks. Ooh, me like it. Okay, Smashbox. You guys, I love this. Like, this would be so bomb like you this is i love this ombre right here like obviously with this look it's not that great but i am seriously in love with this like good job smashbox i'm loving this one so let me go ahead and give you a swatch of this guys literally for those who are beginners i think this is awesome it looks like you seriously ombre your lips so i'm gonna have to say i love this very ombre mm, i love it the last one is Red Ombre. I am loving it. And this is Red Ombre. And I, this is bomb. Now this obviously isn't like as drastically ombre as the other ones, but I love this ombre. As far as how I feel about them, I actually am surprised. Like they, clearly they work. So I'm really surprised by that. And I actually really like three out of four of the colors. The nude one is a little too light for my skin tone. I can make work with some brown lip liner, um, but eh, I don't know, it wasn't my favorite. But these other ones I love. Now each lipstick retails for about $24, which is in my opinion, it's a little steep, but that's about average price for a Smashbox lipstick. And honestly, I feel like with the Smashbox ombre lips, you don't really need a lip liner because it's an ombre. So I guess for lipstick and lip liner combined, $24 to me isn't that bad. Um, the pros to me, the lipstick easily gives you an ombre look without lip liner as well as minimal blending. Also, it's great coverage, minimal transfer. You're going to get that same Smashbox lipstick where, you know, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't smear. The con to me is that it can take a little practice to apply the lips just so that you don't ruin the ombre. You have to pretty much just swipe once. If you go back and forth, you'll mess up the ombre. The lipstick comes in these four different colors for right now, and they're available wherever Smashbox products are sold. Be sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!